In this video, we're going to dive deep into the digital platform Class Dojo. So stick around, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Welcome back to iTech On Demand. In this video, we are taking a look at Class Dojo. So this is an amazing tool where teachers, parents, and students can connect. It is also a great behavioral management tool for the classroom. So let's take a look at some of the features right now. If you go to classdojo.com, you can definitely sign up for a free account as a teacher of course parents and students can also have access to this but talking about my teachers right now you can create this account and they even have a paid version of this now as well now i've been using class dojo for quite some time i have not used them recently for my uh, classes but i am using them for my club but you can definitely create a free account fill out the information and simply sign up now I am signed in as a teacher. I went ahead and I had some classes that were archived and I brought this one back out just so we can take a look at what a class looks like. The one that I'm using currently is my FBLA uh, class dojo and uh, I'll show you guys that as well. So they have a new feature that's in beta right now. It's called Dojo Islands and my students actually enjoyed Dojo Islands. They were playing around with it the other day uh, and they're eighth graders and they actually enjoyed this. So we'll see how this works. So if you want to know more about Dojo Island, I'll click on learn more so you guys can see. Basically, it is a virtual world where students can uh, learn uh, through different, I guess, ventures or journeys, right? So it's supposed to be a safe place made just for students to grow in the favorite way, which is playing through play, right? All right, so if you scroll down, it tells you a little bit more about Dojo Islands. So if you guys want to read more, check out this feature and just scroll down and do so, okay? The kids also like changing their avatar or their monster. That's a cool feature as well. And of course, they can post um, photos and videos and drawings and files and so forth. And their parents can actually see this. Uh, so if I click on plus, here is where you can see that there is a plus version of Class Dojo now for $4.99 a month or for $59.99 for the entire year. And there is a seven day free trial. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you may want to check out those features. Before we look at a class, I do want to mention that there are some resources here that you can check out as well. There's a YouTube channel and some live professional development and trainings about Class Dojo so that you can learn more about it. And of course, there is a contact us feature or help desk where you can ask questions. There are also resources just for teachers, just for school leaders, and just for parents. I'm going to click on just for teachers and you can see that there is a download and a video to watch and there's even a parent introduction letter and a back to school night presentation so these are some great resources that you may want to take advantage of there's also a decoration pack all right so it's going to come with a monster art posters certificates and more so if you want to use those to post around your classroom and to give out to students, you can definitely do that. Okay, so let's take a look at an actual course, or I shouldn't say course, an actual class dojo class, if you will. All right, so let's dive into one of my classes. Now, if you want to create a class, you simply click on new class and you're able to name the class and tell the grade and you're able to add student names as well so you can add your students that way but i'm going to jump in here and i will definitely blur out these names but i want you to see that you can actually see the class the whole class points and individual student points in class dojo so basically the teacher can award points to students 
for various behaviors. And you're able to put those behaviors into Class Dojo and assign how many points you want those behaviors to be worth. You can also add students from right here within Class Dojo or from within your class as well. Down here at the bottom, you're going to see some tools that you need to get familiar with. You have a full screen mode, Dojo Island, Big Ideas, a timer. I'm going to click on the timer so you can see that you can do a stopwatch or countdown timer, which is very helpful if you leave this on your board. Um, you also have attendance. So you can mark students uh, present or absent. And of course, you can save your attendance there and select multiple. Now, this is the one that I typically use a lot because typically I have to select certain students when I'm giving out points or maybe I want to select all. OK, and what you want to do is you want to give the students feedback. That's what it's called. And basically, you're just awarding them points for various things. So here are my positive behaviors but I also have negative behaviors, okay? Now I want to read, read through all of these, but I will definitely scroll down in case you guys want to pause and use some of these in your classroom, all right? So these are some positive behaviors that I can award points for. And right now these are all set on one point, but you, I think it goes up to five points. And then here are the negative behaviors. And I'll scroll down, so if you guys want to pause and use some of these in your classroom, you can definitely do that. And down here at the bottom is where you add another skill. So if you wanted to add a skill, you certainly could. Okay, so you can change the photo for the skill. You can change the name and how many uh, points each skill is worth, whether you're adding points or taking away points. Okay, and you can see that it goes to five. Okay, so we're gonna cancel that. So. Um, in this section, you have the information section where you can change the name of your class. You have the student section, family, skills, teacher, teachers, I should say. These are teachers at your school and settings. Now, what I do want to mention is under students, you can also add students from this view. But then if you want the students to have access so they can see their points and keep up with their points, you can do the show class instructions feature and you can have students go to the website class dojo and actually enter um, one of these codes. They can either sign in with Google or they can enter a code and or they can scan the QR code so that they can sign up. So those are three options. You can also print home instructions so maybe you want them to take these instructions home show their parents how to uh, sign up then you can do that so you can get a printout and i'm going to click on this so you guys can see what a printout looks like so on page one here you have your instructions but let me go to page two so you can actually see so it'll have the student's name and uh, a qr code and then some instructions on how the parent can sign up I also want to mention the toolkit, which is also located down here at the bottom. If you click on toolkit, you have some different features that you can use, such as the timer, random, group maker, noise meter, directions, think, pair, share, today, and music. If I click on today, you can actually display this on your board and you can put some um, announcements, some type of message, maybe some type of um, bell ringer on here if you wish which is pretty neat. You can also do directions. All right. So if you want to do, you know, step one, step two directions for the students, you can do that. So there's several tools here that you can use and I won't click on all of them, but I do want to show you another way that I use class dojo and that's using, um, using it with my club. Now with my club students, I have it turned on to where they can see positive and negative points. Yes, you can definitely do that. Just go to your settings. So I want them to know when they earn points, and I also want them to know what I'm taking away points for. And you can do this in your classroom as well, and you can see the whole class points too. So if you guys want to see what type of things I am giving students points for, let's go ahead and click on Give Feedback to see. So with my club, there are several things that they can earn points for different community service projects, you know, um, for attending chapter meetings, 
things like that and I'll scroll down so you can see some of the options here being on time participating in service projects all of these things they can be awarded points for under needs work things that I can deduct points for is things like missing a meeting not participating in an event uh, let's see just dis being disrespectful being late to a meeting you know missing a meeting and not completing the missed meeting form so things like that can get points deducted from your class dojo okay so this is the way that i use it for my club and you guys let me know in the comments ways that you use class dojo in your classroom or any other ideas that you guys have of how class dojo can be used and lastly you do have your notification bell here at the top your recent notifications will be displayed you also have the help desk and email support button here that you can use and of course you have your account settings you can refer a teacher you can change the school that you're at and of course you can log out now i hope this information was helpful and useful to you if you are loving the content on itech on demand please like this video subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time iTech On Demand posts a new video. Thanks for watching.